What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to talk about why you should be excited for Season 3 Lost Ark. I'm going to be honest, when I first heard about Season 3 being released, I hated it. I was that bitter Bartholomew who didn't want all of my progress reset. Yes, I know it's not a hard reset, but definitely was a bad feeling knowing that all my hard work into things like gems were now needing more upgrades. It seemed like as soon as I was reaching the finish line, the game decided to put the finish line further away. But then it got me thinking. What if there was no Season 3? Then eventually, the people who got everything they needed to, like full level 10 gems, would eventually have not much else to work towards. This would result in less playtime, and less playtime means... Uh oh! Less money for Smilegate! They needed something fresh and exciting. And putting another puzzle game as vertical progression, clearly wasn't the answer. So now we get tier 4. This was eventually bound to happen, honestly, because a bunch of things indicated that there was going to be another tier. You know, the fact that they actually said it, but also if you'd never listened to any of the news, the phrase less effective against foes above level 60 on a lot of your stuff like on bracelet effects, clearly. They were planning on increasing the combat level at one point, and now was the time. Now this is a side comment that I have, but do I really think combat level is necessary in Lost Ark? No. Personally, this MMO is not like other leveling MMOs, like MapleStory, that really focus on the leveling aspect of things. Combat level just seems like an annoyance to actually be able to play your character the way it was designed. With a much different way of leveling in Lost Ark versus other MMOs, I personally think Smilegate just wanted to copy the leveling system, but didn't do much with it. Anyway, the yapper will stop yapping now and let's talk about the actual topic. So Season 3 will come with free 20 item level boost once you convert all your gear to Tier 4. I cannot stress how amazing this is for everyone. If you're a juicer, you will love the extra damage increase when you finish the raid in 2 minutes. If you're a casual, you will no longer have to worry about clearing the raid. You'll be more worried about how fast you can clear the raid. If your name is NoEditAndy or any other YouTuber, you will love the amount of videos you can do with this. It's going to be hilarious seeing the amount of damage we do to all the old bosses. It was already funny going from level 3 to level 7 transcendence, and this will make my life so much easier. And I'll be able to play other games like Throne and Liberty. Shoutouts to my Throne and Liberty video. I thought that was hilarious and you all should watch it by the way. Shameless plug alert. I'm actually really happy that they moved A gear to a few weeks later. I know this might be a controversial opinion and some people want it ASAP, but I love being able to actually enjoy things one at a time. Dropping A gear on the same date as tier 4 just seems crazy to me. You'll be forced to rush the main story quest and get gear and possibly miss out on A gear because you didn't get enough gear. Since we have time now, everyone should have all tier 4 gear by the time A gear releases and most likely with either a level 70 combat level or pretty close to it. Another cool thing about tier 4 is the arc passive aspect of things. The evolution tree, the leap tree, the enlightenment tree are all things that give a serious DPS increase to your character. It even fixes things like Nightmare Boundless, so people no longer need to worry about having an artist in their party. I really hated that as an Emperor Arcanist player. People coping and saying Emperor Arcanist can play with artists. Not if you want to play at your ceiling. It's definitely more doable than Empress Arcanist. But you can't tell me to suck it up when I have to fight for my mana bar life every time. So many lobbies I had to pass up because there were only artists 
as the supports. By the way, I'm curious to know how many people subscribe to me because of Arcanist gameplay and stuff. Let me know in the comments if you are one of them. I know I haven't been posting much Arcanist content late lately, so that's my bad if there's a big audience for Arcanist stuff. That's why I want you guys to comment so I know. I'll definitely show a ton of stuff though in Tier 4, so be ready for that. My next point isn't directly related to Season 3, but another big reason to be excited is what it means for the future of Lost Ark. Endless possibilities, and because we are seeing a lot more communication and insane changes happening these past couple months, I know I'm excited to see where this game is headed. We are so far so good in the vertical progression puzzle department. I don't want to see any more puzzles again. I feel like they're indeed committed to keeping the game alive and growing since they are actively listening to the player base more. I know many people including myself have issues that haven't gone away in Lost Ark yet and things have been long overdue. But if our fellow developers are finally waking up, I think I can forgive them. Maybe I'm too easy to forgive, I don't know. Let me know if I'm being an idiot, but I'd rather it be late than never. How else am I going to keep myself company before Riot MMO releases? Speaking of which, Riot MMO video? Could be something I can talk about during a downtime. We shall see. All right, I feel like I'm just yapping about nothing, but I promise this wasn't clickbait. So for people who want a TLDR, the reasons you should be excited for Season 3 are Number 1. Even though it feels like the finish line is farther away, it changes up things and makes things new and exciting. Number 2. Free item level boost will be so good for reclear content. Less time in raids and jail, more times doing other things, whether it's in Lost Ark or in other games. 3. You get to see more awesome tier 4 videos with me. Woohoo! Number four, more vertical progression, but not as annoying to do. Meaning, you will see the big numbers for less the effort. Number five, characters have new skills and different identities, so it's a fresh change of pace. And number six, better communication from AGS which means our voices will be heard moving on. I mean, I hope so, right? I hope they're not just doing this temporarily. Uh, but anyways, I hope that TLDR covers everything in the video. Too much yap, so maybe I missed something, but they're all in the video, so make sure you guys replay it if you want. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Pineapple Gang, hello to you all. The word of the day is... Wee! I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.